Um, while I was sick, I received this wonderful happy mail. This is a surprise rack from Lydia, who is I triple dog dare you. Um, Lydia is <laughs> she's like the crafting energizer bunny. I don't know how this woman gets all done that she gets done, but she gets a lot of stuff done and she gets it done quickly. Um, Lydia, I admire you for that. I wish I could do that. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so she sent me this wonderful rack, and the first thing she sent was this pretty little card. Isn't that cute? She colored her up with her Copics, and I think it was her Copics and her colored pencils, and just really, really sweet. I love the little bling, and she cut this out with the spell binders, some lace. Beautiful, beautiful paper in the background, really soft. Just really, really cute. And then she just tucked a little message on a piece of paper inside. Oh, that's super sweet. I could re-gift the card, but I'm keeping it. So, <laughs> it's going to go on my bulletin board with the rest of them. And then the next piece she made was a scrapbook mini album for me. So sweet, Lydia. Oh my gosh. I was so blown away by everything she did. I'm just amazed. And so, first off, look at this beautiful... Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. Look at this beautiful charm. I mean, isn't that beautiful? I just love that. She's got this little heart. There's a little butterfly there. And a glass chandelier crystal. This little flower and then a little pearl and she put it on a Tim Holtz swivel clasp with some seam binding just really really cute and then there's this little butterfly down here because she knows I love butterflies and then it says handmade with love by Lydia and she signed and dated it love the dress form the papers this is that Kirby Teasdale paper I do believe from Hobby Lobby which I don't have one near me. And then um, on the front here she has a applique. I think this is from Jay Zella because I've used this a couple times. And then on the little scallop she did little blings and little pearls. And then she's got like a little um, flower here, some skeleton leaves, some uh, little petals, which I think these are like Prima petals or something, and uh, or P Prima flowers. I think she turned into leaves, which is really a cute idea. Love this little organza trim, the trim up here, and there's a little bit of eyelet lace underneath. Just really sweet. And then she put my name on it. I think she sprayed these, and some burlap leaves, a doily. Uh, recollections butterfly, some more little dainty applique trim bloomer, and look at that gorgeous center in there. That's just beautiful. Just love it. It's got a little shabbiness to it. It's just super sweet. And then inside the book, she's put tags, and there's an envelope there. She's got lots of tags in here, a little leaf, and then this page, a doily, and another bling. This is just really sweet, Lydia. I love this. Just beautiful. Love the papers, little flower. And she made a lace pocket here with some more tags. And just blue flowers here. There's that dress form again. And she just used the papers, but it's really nice. A little booklet there. She stamped in that. This will be the sweetest book. I love it. Seam binding there. A little stick pin she made. Another little tag. A butterfly on the back. A gorgeous paper, a little paper doily here. Does the camera a little bit. A little flower. I love that flower. Another little booklet. Just 
just really sweet. Another little booklet over here. This is journal. Another beautiful page of paper for pictures or another little booklet here that she stamped on. The best moments, it says, inside. And then she's cut some little dress forms out of the paper. I tuck those inside so I can use those as journaling spots. A little butterfly, some more of that trim. And doily and a beautiful butterfly there. Now she's got a little pocket she's punched here and and another little uh, photo mat. It's really sweet. Another page here. Another pocket, another book. It says, encourage your hopes, not your fears. And then she's got another little tag, and then a sweet little bingo card. I love that. Definitely use that on a project. Another piece of paper. I love this one. And there are two. And then here's a little envelope she stamped on. A um, place to put, you know, whatever I want. Little tags or whatever. Like this paper here, and some crochet trim and flat backs. Another little doily and a paper flower just really pretty paper and then there's this felt piece here a little wood embellishment with another doily and a flower she and this is a pocket here a little photo mat comes out this is really sweet Lydia I just love this this is just you put so much thought and love into this I really love this and just some more paper love this sheet I wouldn't have covered it up either. Just gorgeous. Another sheet of paper, and then she's got a little mini envelope here, and another little tag that she stamped on. She's got a little cream butterfly in the corner. Love that. So this is my book. Thank you so much, Lydia, for putting in all this time and love, and another little photo mat, and then she's stamped on that one too, and that was in the envelope in the front. Just really, really beautiful. I just love this. It's a great book. Awesome. And then um, the last piece, she sent a beautiful muffin tin. I have made one, but I did, um, didn't get one. And so this is my first muffin tin. And she painted it all white. She even put felt on the bottom and finished the bottom, which I didn't do that, Lydia. She put all the goodies in these little bags, which I will most certainly recycle those. Um, do something fun with those. And then in the card were these little punched butterflies that she punched out for me, which is super sweet because I really do not like punching out stuff. I'm terrible. And then she's used this beautiful crocheted lace all the way around, which I do believe she said was a gift from a friend. And then these little pearls all the way. And then um, she has seam binding and another bling piece, which we all know I love my bling. And then she used Scrabble tiles to spell out my name, P. She put some bling on it here and here. And she used one of the little muffin tins and created a little stick pin holder. And this is vintage chenille, and I love chenille, it's awesome. And then she put a little butterfly here with a little tiny rose. And check out these stick pins, girls. They are gorgeous. Look at that. That is beautiful. And this one. And the butterfly, I love that. Very, very beautiful. I just love these, Lydia. And this one is gorgeous as well. It's got a big flower on the top. And then this beaded bead. And the little bling pieces. They're just stunning. I love them. I just want to go in. There we go. And then, of course, she's filled it with lots of goodies. Get this piece right here, which is gorgeous. I can definitely use that. 
and a book plate and a label plate. There's a couple of them in there. And then um, a number, a little flower, a little brad. I love those brads. Bottle caps and um, memo clip, a little slider, a teeny tiny little bottle cap. I love that. A little light bulb, um, one of the hitches. Always use those. A tassel, Timolt's tassel, and then um, a little watch piece and a little birdie clip and some teeny tiny. I think these are Tim Holtz little paper clips. And then she's got a doily in the bottom here and some music paper, and a big flower, some gorgeous trim. Oh my gosh, look at this trim, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm going to use it. Some flat back curls, which a girl can never have too many of those. And some little heart pearls. Never have too many of those either. And some little drop pearls. Love those. And a big butterfly. Love that. And another little doily. And then over here she has a little butterfly velvet. It's beautiful. And a little acrylic. A little acrylic piece. I love that. And this is one of those uh, shower curtain pieces. A little bird. Another slider. Um, a little bling piece. Another bobble acrylic gym. One of these crocheted buttons, which I didn't get any of those. Domino. A couple of die. And a little acrylic flower. Another little birdie. And another doily in the bottom. And then on this side she has this stunning lace handmade flower. I love this. This is so pretty. Oh, Lydia, it's gorgeous. And then this. Oh, I love that. That is gorgeous. So I'm going to put that in my room somewhere. I love that applique. Lydia, thank you so much. And then this little container over here, she has a couple little flowers and a little bottle of pearls and just some chipboards. I love a little teacup, a little bird cage, and a couple clothespins and a little wood button and a bingo chip and one of these teeny tiny little heart chalkboard memo clips which I didn't get any of those and I that'll be great for a project I'm working on one little glasses which is too cute and then some butterflies a little gear that she covered in paper and inked for me so I don't have to do any work to that and one of these little recollections butterflies and a little bird that goes with a cage, a wood flower, and these teeny tiny little clothespins, a couple of baby spools, and a leaf, and another doily, of course, in the bottom of this. And that's a very vintage one. I love that. On the last compartment, she wrapped and altered a little clothespin, put some bling on it, and some uh, seam binding. Love that. You can always use seam binding. And she gave me some of the uh, zipper trim to make a flower. That's beautiful. And oh my gosh, lace and burlap trim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love it. And just some uh, this uh, Bethany Low trim. I love this stuff. This is awesome. And then some mesh bling, which a girl could never have too much bling, right? That's my uh, rack from Lydia. Lydia, thank you so much. I absolutely love everything. The little gardenias on the ends and all the doilies and the, um, the music paper. It's gorgeous. I just love it. So thank you so much, Lydia, for thinking of me. You, you honestly didn't have to. I so appreciate it. And... Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll put Lydia's link below. Please go check her out. Show her some love. She's awesome. And like I said, she's the 
crafting energizer bunny. I don't know how she gets so much done. So thanks everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.